Base explorers between the lines, starting this one in three, two, one, go! It is our first match of the day over here on the Curie Field, and we are off to a great start. Right off the bat, Bumblebee quickly placing a hatch panel on the rocket for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, SEA Constellations is trying to do the same for Red. It's now time for teleoperated period. These teams are off. Bumblebee already working and has placed a second hatch panel. Meanwhile, their partner, Roby, is getting a cargo from their human player station. Over on the Red Alliance, we have teams quickly battling it out. Gale Force is already working on getting some cargo into the cargo ship for the Red Alliance. However, they're up against some tough defense from 5672 First Nation Stem over on the Blue Alliance that are trying to keep Constellations and the Beak Squad out of business over on the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, over on Blue, we have Roby and Bumblebee going back and forth between their human stations working on the rocket and their cargo ship. We have a minute and 20 seconds left in the match. Plenty of time for these teams. Constellations doing another cycle, headed over to their human player station. Meanwhile, their partner Gale Force is lining up, working on getting a cargo in the ship, and they've got it for the Red Alliance. We've got just over a minute left in the match. The Red Alliance is up by a significant amount of points, but the Blue Alliance has plenty of time to catch up, and Bumblebee is helping them do just that. They've got the first level of one of their rockets nearly done. They're now working on level two. They have hatch panels that are barely hanging on just by one strip of Velcro, but they are holding those cargos in place, which is what they need. 35 seconds left in the match. Almost time for the end game period. Beak Squad just completed the second level of the rocket for the Red Alliance. They're now headed over to get another hatch panel. Meanwhile, Roby, they have another hatch panel working on placing it on front of the rocket ship. 20 seconds left. Teams now need to figure out what they're going to do during the end game. Beak Squad is lining up, working on their level three climb. They've got it up, they're lifting up their mechanism, and they're up on level three for the Red Alliance. Bumblebee's doing the same seconds left, and it looks like they made it up. They still have a mechanism hanging down. We'll see how the referees score that, but a pretty incredible match here. On Putting up a score of 112 to 81. This is early, which means that the rankings look really good, but congrats to all three of our Red Alliance teams shooting up to the number one, two, and three position. Thanks to the three ranking points they were able to earn.